Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I uh, hope you are all well and all here together to uh, study a uh, Bible verse um, as part of living life. Lord, please, every, <clears throat> please bless everyone here who hears your word with humility towards you, God, and wisdom and understanding so that we all can be affected by your message. Uh, let your will be done in our lives that, so that we may be a blessing to others as well. Please let your word become a part of us a guiding force for all that is good. Uh, we pray these things in your precious name. Amen. Today's Bible verse comes to us from Daniel, uh, chapter 10, verses 1 through 9. And I will read that now. In the th uh, Daniel's vision of a man. In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a revelation was given to Daniel who is called Belteshazzar. Its message was true, and it concerned a great war. The understanding of the message came to him in a vision. At that time, I, Daniel, mourned for three weeks. I ate no choice food, no meat or wine touched my lips, and I used no lotions at all until the three weeks were over. On the 24th day of the first month, as I was standing on the bank of the great river, the Tigris, I looked up and there before me was a man dressed in linen with a belt of the finest gold around his waist. His body was like chrysitholite, his face like lightning, his eyes like flaming torches, his arms and legs like the gleam of burnished bronze, and his voice like the sound of a multitude. I, Daniel, was the only one who saw the vision. The men with me did not see it, but such terror overwhelmed them that they fled and hid themselves. So I was left alone, gazing at this great vision. I had no strength left. My face turned deathly pale, and I was helpless. Then I heard him speaking, and as I listened to him, I fell into a deep sleep, my face to the ground. Well, Daniel, um, he was taken captive to Babylon when Judah was conquered a long time ago. But despite his misfortunes, he refused to let his faith in God slip in his life. Uh, the book of Daniel deals with the sovereignty of God. No matter what calamity happened to Daniel, whether it be his friends thrown into a raging furnace, a uh, furnace hotter than it ever was, and uh, walking out unscathed, or um, he himself being thrown into the lion's den. Uh, when that happened, the king stayed up all night, couldn't eat, couldn't sleep, couldn't drink, uh, and was so relieved that, uh, that he, that he uh, found him doing well. And that uh, I think that uh, just the fact that God proving himself to these kings showed his power and showed, uh, showed his total sovereignty really again. Um, God, you know, he was always able to save him and he was an extremely important person to these uh, kings he served. His ability to advise and interpret uh, was well rewarded. He was so respected that even the king, like I said, that ordered him killed, they were all glad that he survived and that uh, God, the God of Abraham, had saved him. In chapter 10, Daniel has a very powerful vision. Um, Daniel was so moved that he wasn't able to eat or drink anything enjoyable, anything that would be festive for over three weeks. Um, in this vision, he saw... Uh, a figure, a man's figure glowing, uh, adorned in gold and, and with eyes burning. And it, he himself at seeing this uh, was powerless, couldn't move, couldn't speak, couldn't do anything. Um, this heavenly figure was able to put him finally into a deep sleep. Was this an angel that God had sent maybe, or was it a vision of Christ to come himself? Uh, I don't know, who knows, but whatever it was, or whoever it was, it was a, a very powerful uh, vision, and, and, and it uh, showed God's power again and his full authority over everything living on this earth. Well, this concludes uh, today's Bible verse. I pray that together the Bible and the Holy Spirit that uh, touches each one of our hearts and will become a greater uh, part of our lives. The more we know God, uh, the more we have his spirit in us. 
and uh, let the Spirit rule over us. Um, I pray that uh, we will all be prepared to meet Jesus one day, and uh, this is just part of that preparation. Well, God bless you all, uh, and uh, we will see you later.